Jaguars in their cool charcoal gray blue. Roosevelt white jerseys, gold pants, from Mr. of USC. Jack Roosevelt has the Heisman Trophy winner for their alumnus. Mike Garrett, who went on to USC to win the Heisman Trophy. Later became athletic director right, of USC. Last game, right? We're going to have a good ball game tonight, right? Yes, sir. I'm telling you guys all season long, what? Sportsmanship, right? Yes, sir. Yes, we're going to have tonight. Sportsmanship. Okay. See that? Heads. Tails. Call them in. Heads. Here it is. What you want? Deferred, right? Okay. Why there's one, they're going to defer. Which way you can kick? Huh? Well, face the way you want to kick. Face the way you want to kick. There we go. Okay, Roosevelt won the toss. They deferred to the second half. Okay, fellas, shake hands. So, referee Robert Greer has told us that the Rough Riders run the coin flip has deferred to the second half. That means the Jaguars will be receiving. They will be from right to left on your screen to begin this ball game on a, we won't say a chilly night, but a, well, how do you describe it, the, well, the temperature, it, I would Martin? describe it as a finally a November night. I think it's probably the second or third night that it actually feels somewhat like like the fall. Yeah, it's, yeah, it definitely fall weather. The kind of nippy, like uh, Indian summer-like. Yeah. And I, I have two layers on, but Martin's sporting his short sleeve, showing his guns. Right. Better watch the, out. The stud yeah. that he is. I'm covered up, man. I get cold real easily. And these guns are loaded tonight. Kevin, I'm uh, curious to see which team shows up on both sides. Again, I talked about how these two teams have mirrored each other as far as what their seasons have been like. Uh, you know, Roosevelt two weeks ago played Southgate, ended up losing to Southgate 49-42, but for most of the night had Southgate on the ropes. They also beat Rosa, uh, Fairfax at the beginning of the season. Uh, they had some big wins. They beat Eagle Rock 27-3, which is another Division I football team. They and lost to, to, to Huntington Park, though, Martin. That right. surprises me. Now, here's the thing. That was a surprising loss, Kevin. They lose to Huntington Park, a team that Southeast beat. Yeah. So, go figure. And then, yeah. you know, Bell beat uh, Southeast, but Roosevelt beat Be Bell. Bell. So, it's right, just kind right, of. Right, right, right. They, they lost to San Pedro, surprised me. They lost to San Pedro at oh. San Pedro. That didn't surprise me. And right. they lost, like, like South Gate lost to Arlita, too. And that, that surprised me because I, I thought, again, Southgate that night was a better team. They, yeah. just, they just couldn't yeah. pull through. In fact, our leader's undefeated. And, in fact, and they'll be undefeated. They'll go into the playoffs undefeated. But uh, I don't think they're going to win it all in Division One. So onside kick to begin this ball game. And there's a scramble for the recovery. Wait the officials sort it out. The Rough Riders are somewhere on the sideline. I've yet to see an indication. Yes, it is Roosevelt football. The Rough Riders recover at the 40-yard line of Southeast. They'll begin this football game with the football after deferring to the second half. So onside kick by the Rough Riders was successful. And look at the football to begin this ball game. Well, it's an all-or-nothing attitude for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Again, they're desperately going to try to get into the playoffs. Very aggressive going for that football. Indeed. Quarterback keeper knows it's more of the Wildcat formation. Direct snap to Valencia. Running back Francisco Valencia took the snap. Got up to the 37, a gain of three on the play, make it second and seven. For the Rough Riders. Again, Wildcat formation. Valencia with a carry up the middle. He has a first down. And a fumble. And the ball's loose. It's a battle for it between the Jaguar player and a Roosevelt player. The referee didn't whistle it dead. I no. think it's going to be. It's going to remain with the Rough Riders. And it's going to be a first oh, wow. down. So two direct snaps to the tailback. Valencia. Well, Roosevelt doing what they do here. Wildcat formation, like you said. And, guys, that was a fumble right there. I don't know. Hands that looked like play. it might have been Jaguar ball. Acosta with the recovery. 
Again, Valencia, that wildcat formation, three times in a row. He's up near the 20. Let's see who the ball spotted at. It's at 19. Nothing fancy by the Rough Rider offense. No. Just pounding the ball down the Jaguars' throat right here in the opening drive. Pardon me, Martin. Gain of five makes a second and five. And they'll have the same formation again. Valencia in the backfield. Zepeda's back there with him, number 34. But goes to Valencia, fakes it to Zepeda, keeps it up the middle. Valencia still on his feet. First down, Roosevelt. If it ain't broke, why fix it? It's working for him. Granted, they got the football, the 40-yard line. Kevin, it's the same play on over, over and over. This time they did fake to the running back. But Valencia keeps it, and Valencia's on a roll here early on. He's gained 31 yards in this drive. First and goal for the nine for the Rough Riders. 9.50 left in this first quarter. Opening drive. Costa's back there with him. Valencia gets it. Valencia goes up the middle again behind his blockers. He's up near the five. If so, he gained four on that carry. He's second and goal from the five. And Kevin Valencia showing a lot of patience. Yeah. The offensive line is actually being stood up at the uh, line of scrimmage. And Valencia just kind of hides behind his linemen and finds, picks, and chooses what direction he's going to run in. And that's where he's picking up three, four yards. And it's working. <laughs> Martin, it's working. Why, why change it? He's Acosta in the backfield with him. Twins left, twins right, but I doubt if he's going to throw it. Let's see. Valencia in shotgun formation, and he got the Jags to jump off sides. That was too easy. Too easy. Likely to be half this to the goal line. It'll be from the two and a half yard line, if you will. It remains second down and goal. I think Javier Beltram's the Jaguars. A little, a little aggressive there. And before the play can be ran, timeout's called by the Jags with 8.47 left in this first quarter. Coach Navarante doesn't like what he saw out there. Well, I wouldn't either. I mean, the Roosevelt Rough Riders, first off, they start the game with an onside kick and recover it. Then they just march down the field. It's almost like there's no resistance. No, you said they. Francisco Valencia has been marching on the field. Granny's he's getting good blocking, wow. but he's been marching on the field. He's the only one carrying the football on this drive so far. Well, I meant Valencia on his offensive line. Okay, that is they. Of course, the offensive line, always the young, sung heroes. Yeah, and it's coming from no a former credit. lineman. Yeah, absolutely. It's from a former lineman. Second and goal from the two and a half yard line. 8.47 left in this first quarter. Opening drive of the ball game. Roosevelt won the toss, deferred the second half. Onside kick recovered at the 40. Second and goal from the two and a half. Hand off this time to Acosta. And. Delayed response. Did he get in? He did not get in. For the first time, Valencia did not carry the football. Yeah, Kevin, I'd be a little upset if I was Valencia. You <laughs> carry the load all the way down, and then when you get to the end to the red zone to score, they hand it off to Acosta. What the heck's going on there? <laughs> well, I would be too upset because he didn't get in the end zone. So now Valencia can get the glory if he decides to keep it on this one. Third and goal from a yard away. Acosta Valencia. Alagu, the back for high snap is fumbled. The ball's loose and the Jags have it. Yes! Wow. Martin, that is the risk for playing from shotgun formation on goal line. You need to be up under center. More and more teams run the spread offense than line up in shotgun. Why? Get your butt on the center and get the football. Well, You're closer to the goal line from the center. First of all, the snap wasn't bad. It hit his hands. It, Valencia just turned away. He looked like he was going to hand the ball off. Martel Taylor comes up with the fumble recovery. But my question is, Kevin, why would you go away from Valencia running the football? You get down to the one-yard line with Valencia carrying the load, and then you decide you want to start handing it off. I don't understand that play call. And this is the end result. First and 10 from the eight. Jaguars have it. 
pass, caught. Lopez, fake it, juke it, gets it to the 20, and that's where he's down. Gain of 12, first down Jaguars. Martin, these teams run the spread offense, always line up his shotgun in goal line situations. It makes no sense. Get your quarterback close to the goal line and get up under center. Yeah, Quit I don't being a shotgun. It. You run the risk of a snap like that. Well, right there, a nice game by Brian Lopez. And actually, did he gain anything? Yeah, he did. Got a first down. Oh, okay. From the 8 to the 20. Get some breathing room for the Jags. Merrill, look, throw it deep. Over the head of the intended receiver, Nash. Nash had gotten behind the defensive back. Gallegos is covering him, and Gallegos is beat. Unfortunately, the ball had too much air on it. Bring up second and 10 for the Jags. 7.30 left in this first quarter. Opening drive for the Jaguars after getting the ball in the fumble recovery. I think Nash could have done a better job of getting <laughs> under that, to be honest. I, you know what? I knew you were going to say that when I saw the way he was running. I didn't want to say it to be too critical of the young man, but I knew you were thinking that. I said, Martin's probably thought he could have caught that. I think you, you agree, though. <laughs> yeah, I, he could have spread it a little harder, I thought. Romero back to pass again. Rolls out to his right. Looks, throws, caught. And Taylor down the sideline. Finds thrown at about the 37. Gain of 17. First down, Jags. Romero rolling out to his right. Finds Martel Taylor, who we saw and have seen all year long. Good move. You see that move he put on, on Adam Martinez? Number five? Yep. Martel Taylor. Very exciting. Very elusive. First tip of the 38. Romero looks. Those Taylor catches it again over the middle. He's at midfield. And he's down. Look to be in Roosevelt territory, about the 49. Good catch around there by Taylor. And on this offensive series, Kevin, the Southeast Jaguars are doing what we've been hoping to see all year long, kind of just short, high percentage passes. And look at the success. This is probably the most successful opening drive that we've seen from the Jaguars. Romero, looking good so far. At that first completion, it's been two for two. Looks, throws, caught, Nern. Gets down to about the 46. Right now, just the Jaguars nickel and diming the Roosevelt Rough Riders down the field. Second and six. Six minutes left in this first quarter. Jags are driving. Taylor's in the backfield. Next to Romero, who's in shotgun formation. Romero back to pass, looks to his left, looks to his right. Pressure, rolls out to his left, cuts up inside, has a first down. Holds on to the football, is brought down the 35-yard line. Good run there of 11 yards by Johnny Romero. And Romero now doing what we've been hoping to see him do. Doesn't stay in the pocket too long. He decides he's going to take off with the football. Decisive, he Martin. That's what you've been playing about last week against yeah. the uh, – it's the Rams in the South gave in the Zellia Bowl. You say it wasn't decisive enough. Very decisive there. Taylor's in the back, but behind Romero. Hands off to Taylor up the middle. Hits in one of his blockers, running to the back of his blocker, and is brought down for a loss. Lost about a yard. Try to get behind Miguel Gutierrez. It was unable to get around him as the defenders right there. Scudier is making the block. Loss of a yard makes second and 11. Five minutes left in this first quarter. We have no score. Romero back to pass, looks to his left, pass thrown, caught as Jalen Street. It's a very, very short game. Up to about the 34, a gain of three. Well, this will make it a third and eight. Romero, I think he rushed that ball a little too much. I like the, the catch by Street, though. Caught it with his hands. Didn't wait for it to come to his body. He went and grabbed it. Being aggressive as a receiver. You got to love that. Brings up third and eight, like Martin says. 425 left in the quarter. Ball spot on the 34-yard line. Twins left, twins right. Taylor 
to the right of his quarterback, Romero, who's back to pass. Pressure, steps in the pocket. Romero looks deep, throws deep receiver, streaks there, open, touchdown, Jaguars. Great pitch and catch. Johnny Romero to Jalen Street. Put the Jaguars on the scoreboard with a 405 left in this first quarter. They draw first blood. Well, again, I said it earlier in the drive, this is the best opening drive we've seen from the Southeast Jaguars as far as the games that we've done, Kevin. Granted, we haven't seen all of their games, but definitely the best drive to open up a game. They score, and this comes off of Roosevelt turnover. They were at the one-yard line and fumbled <laughs> and turned it over. And the Jags drove 92 swing. yards for a score, Martin. They got the ball at the eight at the fumble recovery. Kick is up. And it's good, seven, nothing, Southeast, with 405 left in the first quarter. Impressive drive. Tip of the hat to Jalen Street, tip of the hat to Martell Taylor, tip of the hat to quarterback Johnny Romero. He's poised on that drive, leading his team down the field. Well, I thought Romero was going to take off. I did and too. I thought he got awfully close to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it was close to being blocked in the back there, too, as well. Good job of catching the football and getting to the end zone. So the Jaguars draw first blood against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. I think Nern had a catch in that drive as well. I want to give him props too. You know, not mistaken, Brian Lopez had a catch in that drive as well. So Romero threw the Lopez, Nern, Taylor Street, and he had 10 of the pass for Nash that was over his head, so he threw the five different receivers on that drive, played the, the four different ones. Jags drive 92 yards for the score. Now, Kevin, if things couldn't get any worse for the Roosevelt Rough Riders, they had to forfeit a win against Jordan. When, that Martin? When was hurt. this? Well, they played Jordan. So it was before, it was before Jordan had to forfeit their season because of lack oh, of yeah. players. Okay, it yeah. was actual game. They played against Jordan about five weeks ago. The Lincey with the return, and he gets up across the 35 and the 36. He's doing it all. Lincey lined up in the Wildcat in the opening drive, got him down to the one-yard line, and this time he returns the kickoff to the 36-yard line. And that's with the Rough Riders in the opener second drive, or begin their second drive, I should say, of this ball game with 3.58 left in the quarter, trailing 7 0. You're going to see uh, what kind of offense formation they come out with this time, they being the Rough Riders. Something that's awfully odd, Kevin. I have not seen Javier Sid, the head coach for Roosevelt, on their sideline all night. Nor did I see him during the pregame warm-ups. Zepeda. And Valencia, Valencia's back to pass from the, from the Wildcat. He's going to keep it. Tries to get to the outside, does bounce to the outside. And is brought down after a very short game. So Valencia... That time, go back to pass, unable to find a receiver, decided to keep it. And they're going to give him two yards on that, make a second and eight. Yes, Sid, as we spoke about in the opening, Martin, was uh, let go at the end of last season, then brought back in the summer. Longtime coach with the Rough Riders, other Rough Riders. I scoured the silent. I did not see him over either. Valencia, quarterback keeper up the middle from the Wildcat spot. And he might have got a yard. And that's being kind to him. I don't think he got anything. Let's see what the spot is. Yeah, they're going to put it at the 40, so you're going to give him more than a yard. Give him two. <laughs> Do you see him there? No, I don't. Interesting. Yeah, and I know it's been a rough year, and then again, they, they lost pretty big to Garfield last week, which is and a big That deal. doesn't sit over well at Roosevelt. Third and six. 
for the Rough Riders. Ball spotted, 42-yard line of Roosevelt. Quarterback keeper, Valencia, up the middle. And he has stopped short of first down. Got to about the 44. Need to get to the 46. It'll be a fourth down and two. And they're going to go for it. Blitz is over there talking to the coaches on the sideline. How much you want to bet he keeps it on this one, Martin? <laughs> I doubt. I doubt. Seriously, Zeppelin gets it. They're going to try to get the Jacks to jump, I think, and then they'll either punt it or quick kick it. Quick kick it. I mean, I can't believe that they're going to go. Well, it's an all or nothing game yeah, here. Yeah, oh. twins left, twins right. This is in the uh, wildcat formation, or shotgun, if you will, the tailback. He's going to keep it, and he's going to be stopped short, in my opinion. Let's see what the spot is. I don't think he got it, Martin. He needed to get to the 46. I think he got to the 45. That's an interesting call. Yeah, that's a very interesting wow. call. Especially with the success that the Jaguar offense had. Nothing going. I think the Rough Riders are going to the well one too many times now. And clearly, Southeast has adjusted to that Wildcat play. And it looks to me, Martin, with the speed that he has, he could have bounced that to the outside. He didn't insist on going up the middle, and there was nothing there. Good job by that Jaguar D. Very good job. They get the football with a minute 30 left. First and 10 at the 45 of Roosevelt. Taylor's in the back in the backfield behind Romero. Twins left, twins right. Romero customary shotgun formation. Drop back to pass, looks. He's going to keep it. Romero almost oh. a little one defender. Got brought down by the ankle. Oh, man, he had a lot of real estate in front of him, too, Martin. If he didn't broke that tackle, he had a lot of room to run. Watch this. Yeah, a lot of green right there. If he oh. just got by that one <laughs> rider right there, he would have had a huge gain. Instead, he only picks up one yard. A yard. He dropped back so far. He'll gain a yard. Make it second to nine. Under a minute left in this quarter. Seven nothing. Jaguars lead. Last regular season game of the season for these two teams. We're hoping to get a playoff spot some way, somehow. Get the last and final 16th seed. Romero looks, throws to Taylor in the Swinging out the backfield, Taylor cuts up inside, cuts back outside. Taylor finds brought down the 35-yard line. That's where he needed to get for first to see if they give it to him. Yeah, they're going to move the chain. First I down. Believe. Martel Taylor making things happen with some nifty moves right there. He's electric. Pretty good blocking, close to being holding, but uh, <laughs> not called. And uh, first down for the Jaguars. And this offense is on the move and the best we've seen it move. I like the way he ran the ball with this ball in his left hand. He was running to his left, very smart. 14 seconds left in County. Last play of the quarter, Romero. Hands up to Taylor, fumbles the football, is picked up by the Rough Riders. Felix with the recovery, it'll be first and 10, Rough Riders, man. Huge uh, was it, was it on the exchange, Martin? I, it happened so quickly. Did he get in his hands at all? No, it, it just looked like on the exchange, nothing was doing. First and 10, Roosevelt. We'll see that again, Martin. I don't know if it was the exchange or the handoff where the fumble occurred. And we've seen, yeah. Yeah, um, it's, it's, Martel it, had yeah, it. he had it, yeah. And we've seen that a couple times this season from Taylor. Acosta Felix, the recovery for the Rough Riders. Have a first and 10, their own 40, with 4.8 seconds left in this first quarter. They trail 7 to nothing. Wildcat again, Valencia. Runs out to his right, comes back inside, and gets up to about the 43. And at the end of one quarter, Jaguars lead 7 0 on the Time Warner Game of the Week. Back with the second quarter, right after this.
prepared for the start of the second quarter here at the Jungle at Southeast High. Host Jaguars leading 7 to nothing. They just turned the football over to the Rough Riders, who have a second and eight at their own 42-yard line, right, going from go. right to left on your screen. <laughs> Playing pretty much without a quarterback, going from Wildcat formation, Valencia. Bounce to the outside. Still running. Wow. And check that. Santa Bria. And Santa Bria with his first carry of the ball game is 22, not 27. And Santa Bria took a good lick at the end there. Well, that's good job by Santa Bria, though. They're just putting different guys back there. And Brandon, the same Wildcat formation. Santa Bria, I thought he was going down right there, but that set up this hit right Ooh. there. Ooh. Big Ooh. shot by number 33 for the Southeast Padilla. Jaguars, Jonathan Padilla. There's a third and three for the Rough Riders. Ball spot at the 47-yard line, their own 47. And just Kevin. Began, began the second quarter, 11, 11 minutes left in this first half. Just uh, just to let you know, during the uh, commercial break, I was doing a little investigating, and uh, I did get word that Javier Sid has been let go as the head coach at Rosemary. What? With one game left in the season? Yep. I'm sorry. Santa Bria with the, hand, with the carry, pardon me, from the Wildcat formation. And Santa Bria has a first down for the Rough Riders as he crosses midfield and gets brought down at the 48-yard line of Southeast. Are you serious? That's what, uh, wow. That's what I mean, sources this, say. This has, this is, has uh, remnants of college football or yeah. NFL, where you fire a guy before the season's over. My gosh. Wow. I guess that loss to Garfield last week uh, really I, resonated. Yeah. Well, again, I think, you know, after being let go and brought back, I think he was given a chance, but... Uh, I mean, I know Roosevelt looks like USC, but I didn't know Pat Hayden was working there. <laughs> and Santa Bria to the outside. Look out. Cuts up inside. Still on his feet. Finally, he's brought down inside the 25-yard line. Santa Bria's giving his Roosevelt offense another lift. Just following his blockers, nothing fancy, and finds a lane on the outside there. Santa Bria, he looks kind of like Eric Dickerson, if you ask me. He's kind of tall, lanky, and just has that high stride. And speaking of Pat Hayden, I'm surprised he has a job, Martin. That's another story. <laughs> 10 5 left in this half. 7 up in Jags lead, but the Rough Riders of the football, first and 10 at the Southeast 24 yard line. Angel Santa Bria playing tailback from that rock affirmation, runs to his left. Santa Bria gets to the secondary. There's no one there. Santa Bria cuts up inside. Touchdown. No. He's down to one. His knee went down first. And there's a flag on the field. They're saying up here in the press box, a block in the back. Let's see if the officials agree with him. Well, I saw blocks in the back, and I also saw holding. That is going to go against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Nevertheless, Martin, it's a very impressive run by Santa Bria. Wait, bounce to the outside. Well, the Jaguars have absolutely zero contain on the outside. Right there, number 12 for the Jaguars gets sucked in. That's Michael Leon. And Santa Bria either got into the end zone or close to it. Very either close. way, the penalty will bring it back, makes it second and three. And the ball spotted Martin. I'm trying to see, my man. Is it about the 15? I can't really tell that yard marker is. Yeah, it's 16. about the 15, yeah, 16. <coughs> Excuse me. Second and two from the 16, they're going to say. 9.29 left in the half. Santa Bria up the middle. He's close. See what the spot is. Needed two for the first. And they're going to give it to him. First down, Roosevelt. So, if you got this guy running the football, why was Valencia carrying in the first quarter? I don't know, but I mean, Valencia did a good guy. job. He did a great job. But they, <laughs> we're saving this guy for the switch off each quarter. We see Valencia in the third quarter and this guy back in the fourth. I mean, they're, they're playing that wildcat formation on offense, but they have the tailback just run the ball down the throat of the Jaguars. And both are elusive backs. And neither, one of them, in there. and neither one of them are the run, are the quarterback. Right, the right. And neither one, play, they're not playing together is what I'm saying. 
Zepeda is still there in the fullback, if you will. So to bring up, throws a pass incomplete. He had a receiver open, too. Ball's intended for Jonathan Garcia, number 13, just beyond his reach. Wasn't a bad pass. In fact, Garcia might have been able to die for it, but he didn't. They're not a bad pass. And there was some holding that didn't get called at the, <laughs> off, the offensive line. Roosevelt I, getting I away you, with one. I knew you see that. No, look at this. You saw it too then, right? West, 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 West. Number 62 C2. right Look at that. There. That's, oh a hold. That's a hold. That's a hold, ladies and gentlemen. That ball's almost picked up. I think Martell Taylor almost got it for the Jags. 8.34 left in his first half. Second and 10 from the 14s where Roosevelt has a football, the 14 of Southeast. Tenebrea, the shotgun formation, going to keep it. Run to his right, cuts up inside, still running, and into the end zone, touchdown, Roosevelt. 14-yard run, Angel Tenebrea puts the Rough Riders on the scoreboard with 8.26 left in this first half. And I thought they had stopped Tenebrea, but... He's a determined runner, Martin. He oh, runs yeah, he, with a, a forward lean, if you will, Martin. And that's why I made a confident call that he was going to score because I, I didn't think he'd be stopped. I did not think he'd be stopped. The way he was running the football, he has that lean, Martin. He's headed toward the yardage. He's trying to head toward the end zone, if you will, on that run there. Hector Gomez is out for the extra point, And before he can kick it, the play is whistle dead. These running backs, Roosevelt, man, they've been very impressive. Started out with Francisco Valencia. The damage being done by Angel Santabria. Let's go back to the it now for the penalty. Happens to goal line because of that, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So we're tied at seven. 8.26 left in this first half from the jungle at Southeast High. Why this nifty running by Santa and the forward lean I spoke of? Well, here's the thing. They have him contained right there. There, yes. He should have been stopped. Watch this. And he just bounces Look the way off. he's headed. Look at this. Leaning, see? He, he had his body lunge toward He saw that end zone. He wasn't going to be denied. Good run. Impressive run. And that's a big swing because, remember, that seven points for Roosevelt came off a Martel Taylor fumble. Yeah. And it could have been 14 nothing. That's a, It could have been. That's a swing of either three or seven points either way because the, 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 the Jags were driving toward the end zone. So it's almost like if the Jaguars gave back. Yes, points. The points, yeah. Yeah. The, see how they uh, do an offense. It's Gomez with the Paris that kick off from the 40. Taylor back deep to receive this kick. And they do a high, short kick. Uh, fair catch is single by Gonzalez, who catches it. Very smart play. And the Jacks will have reasonable good field position. The ball will be spotted at the 39-yard line. Very smart heads-up play by Gonzalez. 8.25 left in this first half. See our score. We are tied at 7. Romero back to pass, rolls out to his right, looks, throws, flag is thrown. As Nern runs down the sideline, good job there, lowering his shoulders and running over a defender. But I think it may be coming back, Martin. I think there was a hold there. Well, right there. Yeah, that's going to be right there in the middle. One of the Riders' defensive linemen was dragged down. Props to Romero on his passing tonight, though. That pass has some heat on it. He zinged it in there to Nern. 
Nevertheless, he'll come back. Ball's brought back to the 35. 25, pardon me. It's a 14-yard penalty. Hand off to Taylor. He's met immediately by Roosevelt defenders. Absolutely nothing doing for Martel Taylor, and that's Not kind of thing. been it's kind of been the story of the season. There, anytime they've run the ball, Martel Taylor's usually gotten negative yardage. Very seldom does he actually pick up big game. Their success comes through the air on short passes, and I don't know why they're going away from that. Second down. And 25. <laughs> Romero in shot confirmation. Back to pass. As Taylor opened over the flat, didn't see him. Rolls out, throws it for Nern. Made a nice attempt for it. Ball falls incomplete. And there's a flag on the play, Kevin. Was that a flag? Or I didn't, it wasn't yellow, though. I saw something being thrown, Martin. Is that actually a flag? I, I think that's a flag. It's, okay. a really it's not yellow, I'll tell you that. It's a brown flag. Yeah, it's brown. I don't know if it came from the sideline or not. I did see it fall out there. Yeah, that is a flag. You're right. It's not the, the most vibrant colored flag I've ever seen, but it is a flag. And it's going to be against Roosevelt. And again, this play developing nicely. Romero scrambles around, heaves nice. it downfield. That's a great pass on the run, Martin. And the, the problem right there, number 31 for Roosevelt, Thomas Salado did not turn around and did not face the ball. That's why it was a pass interference right there. It remains second down. So it was second and 10. Low snap. Romero goes down and picks it up. Pressured. Looks. Gets away from one defender. Rolls out to his right. Heaves it over the head of Nash. Well, not a horrible play. Not a horrible play. Because you lived to see another day. Kevin, I don't understand the yard marker says third down. And they Should didn't get on that first in that pass interference, which is confusing to me. It's very confusing to me, but you're right. They should have been on that first down in the pass interference, but it was not, they were not given a first down. It remains second down, Martin. And I, I, I'm confused as you are, but I saw the official single second down. Huh. Yeah. Confusing, huh? So it's third down and 10. They got the yardage, but not another an automatic first down, which is not correct in my opinion. Romero from shotgun, back to pass, looks to his left, heaves it long, incomplete. Intended for Lopez, did a little too much air on it. Bring up fourth down for the Jags. Yeah, it did not become first down, Martin, at that pass interference. Weird. Well, 721 left in this first half. We're tied at seven. Fourth and ten. And the Jags line up as if they're going to go for it. Likely we'll see a quick kick here. The Rough Riders are preparing for a quick kick as they have a defensive back dropping back to receive it. And yes, Romero kicks it. Vargas watches it bounce and gets away from it. Nash will down it. At about the 27-yard line, check that, 17-yard line. And that's where the Rough Riders take over first and 10 with 7-13 left in this first half. We're tied at 7. Well, hopefully the Jaguars adjust and do something to figure out how to stop the Roosevelt Rough Riders Wildcat attack. I mean, orchestrated by Angel Sanabria, who was taking over for, uh, who's the first guy that was up there? Can't find his name on the roster here. Uh, Valencia. Valencia, yeah. Yeah, 27. I remember the Wildcat was introduced to the NFL. The Dolphins ran it with Ronnie Brown. They played the Patriots and stunned the Patriots. Patriots had no idea. They saw Ronnie Brown in the backfield. Like, what is going on? And Ronnie Brown ran all over him. 7-13 left in this half. 
up the middle. That's Valencia directing traffic. Gets a sideline. Look out. Finally goes out of bounds in Southeast Territory. So Valencia's back in on this drive. Good run there. Gives Santa Bria a rest, if you would. He landed up at receiver. Look at that, breaking the tackle. Look at directing traffic. Switches the ball to his left hand, up to the left sideline. Heads up play by that ball carrier, Valencia. First and 10, Rough Riders. Ball spotted at the 43 yard line. Well, I asked about Valencia, I forgot his name, and he just reminded me with that play right there. Jaguars better figure something out. Otherwise, the Roosevelt Roof Riders are going to make it a long last night for the Jaguars. Valencia, the keeper, bounces outside. And it's finally brought down at about the 39. Short game there, Jalen Street with a tackle. After a while, it would seem like you key in on him because you know he's going to keep the football. Now his, his, his running skills are great. In fact, he's breaking tackles and looting guys, but I mean, you know he's going to keep the football. He's throwing one pass, and they bring Valencia out. Santa Brea comes in now, 22. You see him there in the screen, coming back to the huddle. So they're playing their tailbacks as quarterback, if you will, in this wildcat formation, and they're gobbling up yardage on carries. Santa Brea with a carry up the middle, breaks one tackle, running hard, gets up to about the 27. Kevin, this is just way too easy for the riders. It doesn't matter whether it's Valencia or Santa Brea. They're just tearing off huge chunks of yardage. They're moving up and down this field. Absolutely no resistance. I think the Jaguars are lucky it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Now defensively, what would you tell your guys, Martin? You say, hey, look, forget everything else. Just get him. Yeah, we Make know what they're doing. We know what they're doing. Get him. Especially your linebackers, whoever's key on, get, key on, on, the, on the, the, the quarterback, get him. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Santa Bria. Wildcat formation, that quarterback, if you will. Runs to his own back, breaks a tackle, no. Good job of that Jaguar D that time. Unable to do, elude defenders. Michael Leon with a stop there. This is what you have to do if you're Southeast is load the box. Get these guys in there. Make sure that they don't miss tackles. That time, number 12. Leon was there with Leon the stop. slows them down enough, and number 53 for the Jags comes in and finishes the deal. Five minutes left in this half. Second and 12 from the 29-yard line is where Rosa has the football. We are tied at seven. Regular season finale for both of these teams in the entire Eastern League. The playoffs begin next week. Both these teams are hoping with a victory tonight they earn a playoff spot in the sixth and final, 16th and final, pardon me, playoff position. And Abrea keeps it, of course. And he's hit by Leon. Michael Leon make back to back stops. Good job there. Urias is also there, 54 to assist him. Nice hit right here by Leon. Perfect form tackle, and he got it right under the chin. Third and 10. Pardon me, Martin. Third and 10 for the Rough Riders. 4 14 left in this half. Interesting to see if they threw a pass in this play. And now Valencia's in. Santa Bria may have been a little stunned taking one on the chin. You're right, Valencia is in. And Santa Bria is on the sideline bending over. I see him. Valencia back to pass, looks, throws, caught. Breaks one tackle and is brought down by the Jags defense. Vasquez with the reception. Very short game. He's a fourth down. In fact, they gonna say he got back to the line of scrimmage. He caught the ball more of a lateral, if you would, in the backfield. And got back to the line of scrimmage. It remains a 10-yard gain that is needed for the first down. So it'll be fourth and 10 for the 27. 
44-yard field goal attempt by Gomez. Gomez kick is up, and it's no good. Short and wide left. Impressive stop by the Jaguar defense right there. As they turn away, the Roosevelt Rough Riders will come out empty-handed. And now it's the Jaguars offense going to take over. Here we are somewhere. Can't find the camera. There we are. Well, you can't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> we remain at 7. 257 left in this first half. Even though I hide Deuces. in my little corner over here, Kevin. Deuce is 7. You try to stay out of the spotlight, Martin. But as a future mayor, you need to get used to it. <laughs> Jaguars have two timeouts remaining. Merrill throws, caught by Taylor, breaks one tackle, cuts up inside. Taylor, look out. He needs some blocking. Taylor, Nash is a block. Taylor down the sideline, finally. Sits on the bounds at, the, at midfield. Got a block from Nash. Good job, Taylor. And yeah, Taylor shows some burst sometimes. Does an excellent job though there, spinning away from the tackle. And here comes the speed by Taylor. Once he gets in that open field, I thought Nash could have sustained his block just a little bit longer. That would have sprung Martel Taylor for possibly a touchdown. Nash got off his block just a little too soon there. 2.45 left in this half. Tied at seven. First and 10 from midfield. Jack wins the football. Two receivers left, two receivers to the right. Romero looks to his right, throws, caught by Nash. Mm. And Nash taking some punishment, Kevin. Yeah. Boy, it, he caught that ball. They stood him up and lit him up a couple times. I can hear those pads hitting wow. up here, brother. Yeah. Nash, tough as nails, though, comes up as if nothing happened. But I heard those hits, and I saw those hits. Here, you see, check this out, Kevin. Nash catches it right there. They stand him up, and he takes one hit there and another hit there. Two minutes left in his half. Second and seven. Balls to 43. Ramiro back to pass. Looks. Pressure. Rolls. Throws. And an excellent job by down. Romero that time. He got out of the pocket. Didn't have anything open. Figured he was way too deep to try and make something happen, so he just threw the ball away. But now here comes a big third and four, third and three. I didn't see where Taylor was, because there were so many blockers coming in. I thought Taylor could slip behind those guys and possibly got an open, but I couldn't find Martel. Third and three at the 43. He said Jacks have two timeouts. Roosevelt has all three of their timeouts remaining if they were to get the ball back. Marion goes in motion, hand off to Taylor at the middle. First down, Jags. Good call there. Very good call. Got the first down, the clock has stopped. Now you got a new set of downs. Minute 56 left in this half. Well, that time they used Nern as a decoy. Martel Taylor gets a handoff, and best run of the night for Martel Taylor, picking up a first down for the good Jaguars. Play. Good play calling, Martin. Very good play calling. Down to a minute 40. As we said, the Jags do have two timeouts remaining. I'm not sure you're going to call one yet. Taking their time, Martin. Romero looks, throws, caught by Lopez, cuts up his side, tries to bounce to the outside. Yes, he does. Lopez is a foot race. Lopez finally is brought down. The ball will be spotted at the 10 yard line. Boy, and Lopez made a mistake of looking around and looking back. <laughs> he should have put his head down and run straight ahead. I think that Santa Maria made a stop there to save that touchdown. Well, watch right here. Lopez does an excellent job of getting away from one tackler there. And right there finds a block. And see how he's looking back, yeah. Kevin? Yeah, that was Santa Maria. You need to look him. down, go straight ahead, and get into that end zone. When you look back, it slows you down. Minute left in this half. First down from the 10-yard line, first and goal from the 10. Romero rolls out to his right. There's a receiver open in the end zone. He doesn't see him. Yes, he does. Touchdown, Jack. He found Nash open in the end zone. He also had Nern back there as well. He threw it to Arion. Touchdown, Southeast. 
10-yard pass from Merrill to Nash. Pushed the lead to 13 to seven. 47.5 seconds left in this first half. Romero making things happen while he scrambles around. And again, I thought he was close to the line of scrimmage and he gets rid of it. And Arian Nash, there you see. Boy, Arian Nash is, definitely passes the eye test. Yes, he's got he a does. great look. He looks like a Division I football player. He's an athlete. Kick is good. 14 7, Southeast leads. 47.5 left in this first half. Get a replay of that. I'm not sure we're going to see it. Nash caught the touchdown, but Nair was behind him as well. He was open. Now, right look, here. Look, look, there, there's, there's Nair. You can't see him. Number one. There he's yeah. back there waving. <laughs> Martell's back there as well. But Nash was the smarter yes, choice. It was a it was. out right. Yeah, that, that was Martell. Pardon me. That could have possibly picked that ball off had it been thrown towards Martell Taylor. He made the right choice. Hey, what the fuck happened on the Good job at Jaguar offense. After that missed field goal, driving the ball downfield, getting the touchdown. As Roosevelt will get the football now, and they'll also get it to begin the second half. Zepeda, you see there, the up back. The fog's starting to roll in here, Kevin. Looks like we may have a foggy second half. And it's starting to get chilly also. You noticed. Like we have a parabolic mic on the sideline, Martin. I love this. <laughs> Sounds of the game. Santa Bria watches it go into the end zone for a touchback. Job, Roosevelt will be 80 yards away from Pater. They haven't thrown the ball much. I, I would count maybe three passes in the entire first half. Be interesting to see what they do to begin this drive with 47.5 seconds left. Whether it's run the clock off or try to get downfield to set up for a field goal. Well, Roosevelt has moved the ball up and down the field with, pretty much with ease. They've failed to get into the end zone, but I don't know why they take a knee or sit on the ball here. I think they should try and take a shot. Who knows? You could pass the ball. You could run the ball. Do whatever you can to get down the field. I believe they still have all three timeouts, they do. if I'm not mistaken. They do. Kevin. They have trips right. A single receiver to the left and Santa Bria. In that wildcat formation at quarterback. Santa Bria is going to run up the middle. Not a bad run. But all that trickeration, three receivers on one side, one on the left, and they run the ball. And call timeout. 38.3 <laughs> seconds left. I don't think there's enough time in the clock, Martin, to run the ball downfield for a score. Therefore, I'm very surprised not trying to throw the football, Martin. Well, we've seen a little bit of their pass attack. It's it's not much, and the way they've run the ball tonight, you know, definitely they're not a passing team. But they're going to use their timeouts, and they're going to take a shot on the ground, I guess. There you see Coach Navarrete desperately trying to get this win to end the season here. Thirty-eight point three seconds left. First half. Second and three for the Rough Riders. Seven-yard gain by Santa Bria. And up the middle, Santa Bria still running, still running. Look out! He's the secondary. Santa Bria finds brought down by Michael Leon, but not until he gets in the Southeast Territory at the forty-four yard line. Martin, there's 29.5 seconds left. That's better than the pass. And this is what I'm telling you right here, Kevin. They Santa Bria runs the ball and picked up a ton of yardage. Of course, aided by some very poor tackling by the Jaguars. That time, Leon comes down, pulls him down by the jersey. But if he reels off another run like that, Kevin, 
the, the Riders are in business. Take their second timeout. They have one more remaining. 29.5 seconds left in this half. And they're 44 yards from pay dirt, Martin. I mean, anything can happen. I told I'm just, you. No I, well, well, running the ball, you don't think there's enough time to run the ball downfield to get into the end zone. But they're proving me wrong so far. They haven't scored yet. But, gosh, they got out of their own territory. Now they're in southeast territory. And they've got one more timeout, right? Yes, they do. Santa Maria stays in there. They have trips left. Senior receiver on the right. Santa Maria runs to his left. And Jalen Street with a stop. Loma Padilla as he's brought down at about the 37. And Roosevelt will take the last and final timeout with 17.4 seconds left. Timeout. Now what do you do, Martin? Well, first, let's take a look at this run by Santa Bria. He picks up about six yards here. Nothing fancy, just simple wildcat play. Santa Bria gets some positive yardage. But now, Kevin, you're within striking distance. And again, the running attack got them into this position. They don't have timeouts left. So if you do have a passing game, it's time to unleash it right here. Or you, get out of bounds. Or you need to instruct. If you can keep running the ball with either Santa Bria or Valencia, Tom run towards the sidelines and get out of bounds. Second and five. 17.4 left. There we are, Martin. Hi. I always look to the wrong way. <laughs> Above the crowd here. Decent nice, crowd. Yeah, yeah, nice size crowd here in the jungle. The final regular season game. By the time they figured it out that they are. And they're bringing in Gallegos in at quarterback this time, number one. He's going to drop back the pass. Looks. Throwing deep. Receivers there. Almost intercepted. Martel Taylor almost had it. Adam Martinez was tenant receiver, number five. And Martel almost picked that off. Not a bad pass, though, by Gallego. Slept his receiver a little too much. See? Yeah. Just, mm. And I think even Martinez could have made more of an effort with that pass. I don't know if you heard footsteps or not, but that ball was there. 11.2 left. Third and five. Ball remains at 38 of Southeast. And Gallego stays in at quarterback. Twins left, twins right. Gallegos back to pass, rolls out to his right, comes back over the middle, looks, throws, passes, caught. Zapata, hit. He has a first down, and the clock will stop with .6 left in this half. .6. Will they clock it, Martin, to get the field goal team I don't in? I don't think they have time for anything, not with .6. Once that ball is set, it's going to run out. And that's that. Uh, that's it. Wow. So the half ends with the Jaguars leading 14 to 7 here on the Time Warner Game of the Week. Back with the second half right after this.